Hello and welcome to our Python tutorial on concatenating list and repeating list. Now, concatenating and repeating list uh, will help speed up our process in programming. Um, if we had to rewrite numerous list or um, combine list by rewriting them, it would take forever. And I'm lazy. And most programmers are, so when it comes to um, combining lists or repeating lists, there's, uh, Python gives us a couple easy ways to do that. One's called concatenation, which combines lists together by creating a new list object. And the other one is called uh, repeating list. Um, and that just repeats the list multiple times. So let's look at concatenation. First, we're going to create a list, and we're going to assign it the variable a. And my list is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, there's my list object, and it contains five numbers. Now I'm going to create another list object. b is equal to, and we're going to do uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, there's our other list object that contains five more numbers. Now we want to combine these together, so it's uh, one through 10 in a list object. Now we can do this easily by doing A plus B, hit return, and we get our list object. All right, and now what we really haven't discussed in a lot of our tutorials is when I do A plus B, and I'll assign it a variable, we can only technically use this object once. What happens if we want to use it multiple times? So let's do um, C is equal to A plus B. Now we call C, and now we have this list object represented by a variable called C. So we can use it multiple times. All right? But the main focus of this tutorial is on how to concatenate. Let's look at this. If we take the list object A that's represented by A, which is this one, and we take list that's list object, uh, let's call it number two, represented by B, which is this one, and we want to add them together, concatenate them, combine them, we use the plus symbol. Now the plus symbol is concatenation in Python. Um, it's also the addition symbol to add numbers together. So if you can remember um, plus, like you've learned when you were in grade school, adds numbers together, well, can, um, plus also means concatenation. It can add lists together, it can add strings together, and so on. So this is concatenation. It's very simple, all right? Um, we can add multiple lists together. We could do um, C plus A plus B, and there we go. Now we got a super long list of numbers, and they go in the order that you put them, um, that you can cat name. So C comes first, which is C is one through 10, and then A goes next, which is one through five, and then B is following that. So we get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so that's concatenation in Python. Um, the next one we want to talk about is repeating um, list. We're going to use uh, the list object represented by A in, this, in these examples. We're going to do A is, and we want to repeat it twice. So A times, or multiply, or repeat, however you want to look at it. The asterisk here indicates that we want to repeat something or multiply it two. So I hit return, and I get it twice. So I get a new string object, or string list object, and it's one through uh, five, and then it repeats itself, one through five. All right, so it creates a new string object. Now, if I wanted to use this, uh, sh I said string object again, a list object, not a string object. Um, if we want to use this list object um, somewhere else in our program, we can uh, assign it a variable. So we're gonna do use D, and this time we're gonna do uh, A times, or repeat, three times, and then we're going to call D, and there you go, we get one through five, one through five, one through five, so we repeated it multiple times. 
So that is concatenation and repeating in Python. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It just returns you, um, and we can add them together, which will return a new list object, or we can multiply them or repeat them, and it will return us a new list object. If you have any questions about concatenation or repeating lists in Python, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.